these teams are really battling out there. Oh, beautiful pump fake by Brand. Kobe stops. He'll pop. And he'll hit it. Bryant barreling through traffic for two. Here's Allen, and he cannot hit, and Kobe grabs another rebound. And buckets just hard to come by right now for Boston. Kobe rise and fire. Lakers now up four. Their biggest lead tonight. We've seen this time and time again. Here we go about a minute to go. Bryant and Allen on top. Kobe will probe and look and work and feed. There's our test for three. It's good. These teams have traded blows all series long in a matchup that has been defined by defense and physicality. The refs have been letting them play, and baskets have been really tough to come by. Let's check out the starting five for Doc Rivers in the Boston Celtics. At the point, it's first-time All-Star Rajon Rondo with Ray Allen at the two. Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett man the forward spots with Glenn Davis replacing the injured Kendrick Perkins at center. And the starters for Phil Jackson in the Los Angeles Lakers. At the guard spots, it's the four-time champion, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant. Defensive stopper Ron Artest in at the three with the versatile front line of Lamar Odom and Pau Gasol. Well, in this series, Boston has averaged about 88.5 points per game. Clark compared to LA's 92 points per game. Both teams are scoring 10 fewer points than their regular season averages. And, Kevin, both of these teams each had top 10 defenses during the regular season, so that's why it's a tough task to score. But I tell you, they've taken it to another level in this series. We'll see which side can get the advantage here tonight. Mike, the importance of the rebounding battle in tonight's game cannot be overstated. Both these coaches have been preaching it all series long. It doesn't matter if you're a guard. They want their players boxing out and controlling the boards. Now here's Pierce after the miss from Paul Gasol. Six on the shot clock. Fisher against Rondo. Kicks it out to Allen. Fires for three. That's in there. Three Davis out. with the assist. Three Allen, one. one of the best ever at the catch and shoot. Now, let's send it over to David Aldridge for an injury update on the Celtics. Thank you, Kevin. Tuesday, a difficult day for the Celtics on top of losing game six to the Lakers. They also lost starting center Kendrick Perkins to injury. He tore the MCL and PCL in his right knee. That will keep him out of game seven. His size and strength surely will have missed against the length of this Lakers team. Guys? You said it, David. Thank you. The Celtics are hoping somebody is going to step up in Perkins' absence. And it's Ron Artest with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Rondo passes to Davis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Paul to solve. Love the focus there from Davis to play through the whistle. Austin shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. This past February, Kobe Bryant became the Lakers' all-time leading scorer. And Mikey surpassed Jerry West's previous record of over 25,000 points. And it all comes full circle. As you know, Jerry West was the one who traded for Kobe Bryant on draft night in 1996. Bryant dishes to Gasol from about 16, and no good trying to use the glass. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. Here's Kobe, and he finishes the break with the lay -in. Bryant's got six. So explosive in the open floor. Once Bryant turns on the Jets, watch out. This is a good Pierce. We've got 148 left in the first quarter. Garnett with the screen on our chest. Pierce with a wide open look. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. 
Pierce has a plethora of offensive moves. He can really hurt you at that end of the floor. When these two teams met in the 2008 Finals, the Lakers weren't able to force a Game 7. They got embarrassed in Game 6, losing by 39 points, which is the second largest margin of victory in Finals history. But that crushing defeat in Boston is what motivated them to win it all last season. And, you know, I think they're still motivated to get their revenge, Mike. And the Lakers have one game to right the wrong. So it's Boston now after the basket by Los Angeles. The time for the ball. And so Boston again turning it over. Not sure who was looking for there. I know the third row definitely wasn't expecting a pass. Uyajic is jacked in for the Lakers. Farmar comes in for Derek Fisher. Scalabrini is jacked in for Boston. Allen comes in for Kevin Garnett. Now here's Kobe. He's got eight. Trust up the D perfectly. Ten points for him. And Kobe embraces the physicality of the game. Loves finishing on tough defense. The Celtics working the ball around now. Scalabrini passes to Allen. Good D by Gasol. Hey, we always hear about the Celtics' big three, Mike. But if anything, I think they're a big four. I'd be interested in your take on this. When you factor in Rajon Rondo, who's been tremendous during these playoffs, look at his numbers. 16, nine assists, almost six boards, and two steals. That's stuff in that stat sheet, Mike. He's actually averaging more points than Kevin Barnett. And just about the same as Ray Allen. And he's not even known for his score. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Set to do on the board. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Robinson for three. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. Sets a screen for Kobe. Offensive rebound. I love the pursuit Barry showed on tracking down that board. Yeah, fearless. Wasn't he Clark on the glass? And it pays off for him. For sure. And the hunger that he plays with. You can't teach that. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And we'll be right back after this. back in Los Angeles here in Game 7 of the NBA Final and ready for some second quarter action. Celtics trail by 8 and in these finals Mike the team that has led after the first quarter has won all six of these games. In these playoffs the first quarter winner has gone 61 and 18 and that shows the importance of setting the tone right from the jump. It'll be interesting to see if that trend continues here tonight. What you like about Davis is the heart he plays with. He's a guy who goes all out. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And he can't get the first one. At the line for two. And he's good on the second. Lakers leading by seven. Brown sets a screen for Bryant. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody, the perimeter or in the paint. So, Clark, Kobe Bryant has not been able to make his presence felt on the board as of yet. You know, Kevin, he's coming off that 11 rebound performance in game six, but clearly the Celtics have made some adjustments. First free throw is good. The thing I love the most about Kobe is will. Bryant plays with a fire that is unmatched. You add that to his talent, you have an incredible basketball player. And the Lakers making a change here. Gasol's checked in. And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing here by eight. Allen finds Davis. Allen with the ball. Back to Davis. One for two with that bucket. You know, Davis right in his zone here. I mean, extremely comfortable throwing his body around inside. Oh, the agility and finish of Kobe Bryant. 
Although his efficiency has dipped, Kobe Bryant has still managed to put together a terrific series. And in his defense, everybody's efficiency has dipped a little in this defensive heavy series. He's still averaging close to 30 points a game, four assists, two steals, and an impressive seven boards a game. Now here's Kobe. Diving in. Good. And the assist that time by Gasol. When he gets going downhill, any kind of momentum towards the hoop, it's really hard to slow him down. And there's the pass to Scalabrini. Here's Allen from deep. Powell pulls it in. So when you look at the leading scores of these two teams, Mike, Kobe Bryant and Paul Pierce, Kobe Bryant once again has the advantage. Kobe has outscored Pierce in every game this series. The Lakers rely on his scoring to win these games. That's handed off to David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Kobe Bryant has been playing through nagging injuries throughout the regular season and in these playoffs. He fractured his right index finger in two places back on December 11th and continued to play. He never allowed that injury to fully heal. He also has swelling in his right knee that has been surgically repaired twice. And has needed fluid drained from the knee multiple times in these playoffs. Guys? Uh, thanks, David. That's a testament to Kobe's toughness and Mike his unparalleled willpower. I know he's only 31, but this is Kobe's 14th season, and he's played a lot of postseason basketball. Here's Bryant following the bucket by the Celtics. They double team Kobe. Master Powell, six to shoot. Farmar kicks to Bryant. Kobe can't get that one to fall. Mike, you know, the effort has been the deciding factor between these two teams, in my opinion. Whoever has won the rebounding battle has won every game of this series. The Lakers are plus 32 rebounding in the three wins. And the Celtics are plus 13 on the glass in their three wins. The rebounding battle should play a key role in this game as well. There's something very pure about Paul Pierce's game, especially his offense. He just looks natural out there shooting the ball. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Odom, he's checked in for Powell. Our test comes in for Brown. And Fisher subbed in for Jordan Farma. He is anchored in and making a living down low tonight. Rondo kicks to Pierce. Back to Rondo. Inside. And then Pierce with the dunk. What you like about Rondo is the elite vision. Wow. We've got 118 left in the second quarter. Well, Clark, a big reason for the Lakers' dominant performance in game six was their bench production. And that bench was led by Lamar Odom, their second unit accounted for 27 points, and he was a catalyst for a lot of them. And the scoring attack was balanced. The Celtics, on the other hand, only got seven points from their reserve. Rondo against Fisher. Here's with a screen for Rondo. Outside, Pierce. Just five to shoot. Who's back up? And it's Davis missing. He's able to get it in close, but what a reaction by the defense. Getting there to shut him down. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Boston called for the foul. Well, Bryant gets everything he wanted here. Getting tricky with the defense to earn a shooting foul. Kobe Bryant, two shots. And that one falls for Bryant. He doesn't get the second one. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Celtics ball. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Pierce feeling it out a bit. 11 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Shot clock at five. 
going to go that time. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in control with the nine-point lead to Edwin Porter. They're playing a cruising game inside, and it's working for them. We come back right after this. Staples Center, as we get set for this decisive second half. Welcome back to the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. We're one half closer to crowning this season's NBA champion. Celtics trail by nine. These are not only the two most storied franchises in the league, they're also the two biggest rivals. Well, Kevin, they're clearly a cut above everybody else in the league. The Celtics have won 17 titles in 21 appearances to the finals, while the Lakers have won 15 titles in 31 appearances. L.A. would certainly love to get a win here and move within one of Boston's all-time record. And Rondo's one of the best rebounding guards in the entire league. Even though he's only 6'1", he's got an incredible wingspan at 6'9". And the foul on Paul Pierce. That's his second That'll be his foul. second foul of the game. First team foul. Gasol tried to free himself up. Oh, Kobe wanting it more. The fire. We've become accustomed to seeing this from Kobe Bryant. That was good defense, but he's made a career out of making hard shots look easy. Outside Pierce. Pass to Allen. Now here is Davis. Pocket six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. An interesting wrinkle in this year's finals is that both Bill Jackson and Doc Rivers have said there is no guarantee that they'll return to their respective teams next season. Well, you know, Kevin Rivers has said he wants to spend more time with his family. And for Phil, comes down to help. It's just not common to see that kind of uncertainty surrounding the two coaches in the NBA Finals. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Barnett outside. He dishes it to Pierce. Pass to Allen. Davis hits the run. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Bryant's got six rebounds now in the game. Nifty move. Up high, down hard, Kobe Bryant. Hey, Mike, since coming into the league together in 1996, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant have been a productive backcourt parent. Four titles together, trying to make it five. Through their trials, they've developed a strong friendship and bond on the basketball court. And there's a level of trust between them that few teammates have. And there it is for him. You look at his athleticism, the mobility and agility. Garnett knows how to make himself dangerous in the pick and roll. Bryant is double. This is to Odom. Bryant down low. Working on Allen. And Bryant gets it to go on the assist by Odom. And that's a welcome sign for the Lakers. Odom's playmaking has been missing throughout the series. Arnett surveying the defense. Pierce for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Gasol's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Bryant. On Kobe cooking tonight, baby. Approaching his finals high. He had 40 in game one of the finals against the Magic last year. Rondo passes to Garnett. The teardrop falls in. Garnett's got four points this quarter. In the pick and roll, Rondo is a maestro. Knows exactly how to move defenders and create the passing angle he wants. Odom with a screen on Allen. Kobe draws the up. The dish to our test. Here's the teardrop. And again, Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. What a move by Bryant pulling out his tricks to confuse the defense. Here's down low. Covered by our test. The shot by Pierce. No good. 
And so Visual bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe with the bucket. Oh, it's been all Kobe all the time tonight. What a scoring machine. Celtics trail by 15. Between the last two finals MVPs, Pearson Bryant, Kobe Mike has really separated himself offensively. And the Lakers need every bit of it. He's gotten the better of Pearson all series. And the Lakers have still managed to push it to seven games. Here's Bryant. Ray Allen picking up that last basket. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. Relentless effort from Bryant. This guy never gives up on a play. Pierce with a screen for Ronda. Artest against Pierce. Great key that time from Artest. The defense was ready for that. They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. Here's Kobe. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers ahead, up by 15. Got time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Back here in L.A. for the fourth quarter of play in the NBA season has all come down to this. As the Celtics and Lakers strive for basketball immortality. Well, Mike, with ten titles, Bill Jackson has already won more championships than any other coach in NBA history. And he's looking to get number 11 tonight. And don't forget, he's also got two as a player. So he could have 13 total championships by the end of the night. He's a fantastic leader who's had the luxury of coaching some of the best players of all time. Lakers lead by 17. Shoots from the elbow. Kobe Bryant cannot be stopped. That is now the most points he has ever scored in an NBA Finals game in his career. And the pass to Scalabrini. Kicks it to Pierce. Garnett, the screen. Outside, Pierce. Allen outside. Launches it. Sinks the triple. This is Allen's shot for sure, and you gotta love the quick release and the textbook efficiency of his form. Bryant, it's a wide open look. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Gasol comes in for Brown, and it's Odom in for Vujicic, and then for Boston. Glenn Davis is checked in for Scalabrini. And it's Rondo in for Tony Allen. Now here's Rondo. Garnett with the screen for Rondo. Fade away. And Garnett gets it to go on the assist by Rondo. The size and skill combo. The aggressiveness. Love watching Garnett go to work. Los Angeles leading by 14. Gasol is screen on Allen. Bryant with it. Picked up by Davis. Count it! Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. Outside Rondo. Pass to Pierce. On loads. Bryant with the rebound. Kobe's got rebound number eight now on the night. Over Garnett. Uh oh, 46 points. Pulling up on the dime. Impossible to stop Bryant on that shot. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Some nights, nothing goes your way. They're trying to compete, but they've been outclassed. And the Lakers making a change here. Fisher's checked in. Kobe, no luck. Celtics trail by 18. And oh boy, a lot of contact here, but he gets the ball and 
will shoot two. That one is on our test. I'll tell you, Rondo is really tough. He gets beaten up in there. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Bryant banks for two. And change shot. It's Gasol missing. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Rondo against Fisher. Rondo dishes to Pierce. And the layup's good off the glass. Inside, outside, mid-range. Pierce is a problem everywhere on the floor. Bryant looking it over. Got it to go. That's 48. And, you know, they're in great position here. Got to think they've done enough to win it. Especially this late in the game. Tough to close the gap in time. Rondo passes to Garnett. Here's Pierce. Front pass the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Gasol's got 11 rebounds in the game. Bryant against Allen. On the wing, that misses off the backboard. Celtics on offense, 17-point game. Here's Pierce. True on the 14-footer. They call him the truth, a.k.a. Paul Pierce. Efficient and deadly from the mid-range. Ryan against Allen. Right at the free-throw line. Rebound, Boston. It's stolen by Bryant. Over Rondo. And again, the Lakers no good. It's Allen on the wing. Back to Pierce. Bryant with the steal. Odin deciding where to go with it. Drops it in for 27 points in this hand. Boy, this really is Kobe's game in a nutshell. I mean, it's the biggest part of his game, his ability to score. And he looks to be aggressive, hunting his shots. Back to back, the Los Angeles Lakers are the 2010 NBA champions. And that is now their 16th title in franchise history. And moving within one title of the Celtics record for the most championships in NBA history. And when you compare all five championships during Phil Jackson's time with L.A., this one the most difficult. Yeah, you know, the 3 P with Sack and Kobe came relatively easy, though, Kevin. In this one, they actually had to work against an excellent Celtics team. It's been an incredible ride. What a journey. Good night, everyone. We'll see you next time.